I'm Lindsay Carter, and today on July 4th, we're going to talk about fireworks, or microscopic fireworks, if you will. Because every time, billions of times a second, uh, atoms, or heavy, unstable atoms, are decaying, and they'll release a big, uh, big chunk of themselves. Uh, take radon, for example. When radon half-lives, it throws an alpha particle off itself. Alpha particle is a helium nucleus without an electron, which is basically a firework leaving it. First, we've got to talk about why is there radon in my house. The reason there's radon in your house is because natural uranium is in dirt, and dirt is pretty much everywhere. And when the natural uranium half-lives, <laughs> um, it produces radium. And when that half-lives, it makes radon, which is lighter than air, so it'll float around. And that way it can get in your house. So, we got all this radon floating around our house. Now, how do we detect it? There's a number of ways. You can buy a radon test kit, you can use a Geiger counter, like we have right here, or you can buy a radon detector. So let's go look at one of those. A radon detector is a device you would set up on a wall that can detect radon. Uh, the EPA says radon of over four picrocuries means you should seek help about it. Right now we're at 2.2 pipe. All right, 2.2 is where we're at right now, which is a very safe level for Florida. Now we're going to go check an air filter. The, the reason we're checking an air filter is because when you're pumping air through an air filter, some radon can get stuck in it. Here is the air filter in question. We're going to pull it out and check it with a gutter counter. Before we start with the air filter, we're going to get a point of reference by checking background. Background right now is about 50 counts per minute, or CPM. All right, so here's the air filter, and now we're gonna measure it. We have a stopwatch here to uh, measure the half life in. So we're gonna start it. So stopwatch is running, so we can measure its half-life. All right, it looks like it's capping out at about 1,600 counts per minute. So I'm going to put that down. And we're gonna wait a little bit. All right, we're about at the two minute mark now. And it looks like we're at 1700 CPM. So. All righty, got that recorded. All right, so we're at the three minute mark. Uh, it's about 1500 CPM. So we're gonna record that. We're going to talk about something. Hello? So, the way we can prove that this is alpha particles is we have a sheet of paper here. And as if you might have saw, seen one of our uh, earlier videos, we proved that sheet of paper will stop at alphas. So this should drop. Okay, so approximately two-thirds of the counts we got were alpha particles. And now we're going to take the paper out, and it's going to rise up. All right, so we jotted down the six minute, which was 1,500. And with the experiment, we proved that about a third of the radiation emitted from this is alpha particles. All right, we're at about nine minutes. 
And uh, now we're gonna do something cool. We're gonna grab some raging gas with the syringe here and test it with the Geiger counter. All right, so if radi radon has only a half-life of 3.8 days, how are you gonna get it? Well, we make it. In this uh, bucket, there's about 50 pounds of uranium. So we're gonna, there it is. They're in bags and you can see it's very hot. All right, so we got this bag here and there should be a bunch of radon gas in there. So open her up, take the syringe in there and slowly suck it out. Remove the syringe, seal the bag back up. We can go over here to the Geiger counter. Geiger counter is all the way over here because that's a lot of hot rocks in one place. All right, there we go. All right, so the experiment worked. When we inserted the gas directly in that area, since they're alpha particles, they don't travel far, um, it, w it jumped from about 88 to 190. So it, the experiment was a success. So there's definitely radon gas in these buckets. All right, we're at 25 minutes and we're down to about 1,000 CPM. Started at about 1,600. Ooh, let's have one. So it's been about two hours and it's half life down to 250 CPM. All right, it's been about four hours and it has half life all the way back to background. So it is uh, safe. All right, here is the, the uh, curve. We started all the way up here, which is 1600 dropped all the way down to background in about four hours. All right, you're probably breathing radon right now, but don't panic, all right? Take it seriously, but not too seriously. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and have a nice day.